So Ryobi, not Ryobi, makes power tools. You see them at the Home Depot on the shelves all the time. But today I got a non Ryobi tool for you to check out. And I'm telling you what, you're gonna love this damn thing. What's up everybody, my name is Clint. Welcome to the Tool Review Zone channel. Now I did a short on this tool right here, or non tool for Ryobi. And this is why I always tell you, if you are looking to get into a cool tool platform, this is one that you wanna check out or at least have one battery for because of things like this. And you see this non-tool right here, well, this thing has a lot of traction behind it. A lot of people were asking me to bring this to the channel, but I wanted to test it out. I wanted to see how it held up. I came up with a couple problems that I'm gonna help you solve, but what is it? This is the brand new Ryobi 18 volt, completely cordless, runs off a of battery, bug zapper. Listen, if you're in the garage or if you're outside at your fire pit or maybe you're camping, this is like an all around tool that I think you are going to freaking love. And I'm gonna show you how this thing works. I'm gonna show you how to set it up. Again, I'm gonna tell you about a couple problems that I had, but I'm gonna tell you about the awesomeness of this thing. So let's do a quick overview of this. I'll show you what it can do and how to set it up. And then I'll show you this thing in action. All right, so if you decide to buy this Ryobi 18 volt cordless bug zapper, you have to do something when you take it out of the box first or it's not gonna work for you. So on the bottom right here, all you're gonna do is twist that, take it off like so. Now you can see that there's LED lights right here, but there's a cardboard cone that goes over top of this. It's for protection during shipping. So you have to open that up and take this cardboard cone off or it's not gonna work. And there's one other thing that you need to do. You see those right there? Well, there's a sticker that goes over top of these. These are sensors. And if you don't remove that sticker, this thing will not work. So there's two things you gotta do. Remove the cardboard off of this and then remove the sticker off those sensors and then it is red to go or green to go. <laughs> Once you do that, all you're gonna do is put this back down on top and then basically just snap it back into place and it's ready. Now I had mentioned to you that this is 100% cordless. A lot of people are saying they wish that you could plug this thing in as well, but I will tell you runtime on this I'm getting about one hour per amp hour, meaning if I use a 4AH battery, I'm getting about four hours of runtime on this unit, which is actually pretty good. This is low voltage. You're not really drawing all that much unless you're zapping, then you're gonna draw a little bit more power, but four hours on a 4AH battery, I'm fine with that. Now up on the top of the unit right here, you got your controls. And what's cool about this is not only do you get bug zap, the zapping the bugs, this is a lantern. So you hit this button right here, and well, check that out. It's gonna turn on, it gets brighter, and you can shut it off, and brighter, and shut it off. You got three different modes, plus the off. Just to show you that lantern, there you go. Look, different, different strengths. Turn it off, turn it back on, turn it, turn it back off, turn it back on. So if you're camping with this thing, you, know, you got the handle right here, which we'll talk about, but you're gonna be able to see where you're going with that LED light. It's a lantern as well. Now the other button will turn on your bug zapper and it'll also adjust the time. So you have a two hour, a four hour, or a six hour. You just hit that button right there. You see that light turns on. All right, so check this out. Right now I'm in the dark and it's very spooky, but I'm gonna turn this on and check it out. Got that nice glow, got that green Ryobi-ish color on the side over here that I'm sure a lot of you would love. But check out that blue and it really, really attracts those freaking bugs. All right, so let me show you how this works right here. So here's your bug collector. You pull that tray out, you can see those little nasties inside right now. So right here, I got a fly. Nasty little sucker. And now I'm gonna drop that fly right in here. Three, two, one. Oh, that's real nice like. Let's try that one more time. Three, two, one. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. So as you can see, the damn thing works amazing. However, there is one issue with this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So up on the top right here, you got a handle and that allows you to carry it, well, like a lantern. Problem is the first time I use this, well, the strap broke. That was kind of surprising me. I thought maybe that would last a little bit longer. It really gave me some issues. Uh, luckily I caught it on tape, I'll show you. See, there was a lot of Makitas out there in the woods that night, but I didn't worry about it because I had my lantern too, that happened. <laughs> But other than this, which is a pretty easy fix, again, I'll use some super glue. This thing works freaking amazing. Now they do say that it gives you an acreage worth of coverage. And I think some people get a little bit confused about this. You see, when I was younger, I actually had a large bug zapper in the backyard and you keep these things far away from you and it attracts the mosquitoes and the bugs that way. 
So you set this over maybe 20 feet and instead of coming towards you, it'll go towards the light and they get zapped. You obviously don't want to put this thing right next to you. You don't want to attract the bugs to you. This is why I say, even if you have one battery, even if you're not using their drills or their impacts or whatever, they come up with some really cool things that I think a lot of people would like and a lot of people could use. Now, of course, I will leave a link in the description below for you to check this out, but I'm curious to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Do you like this? Is this something you can use? I love hearing that sweet, sweet feedback. And I got another video for you right there. It's real nice, like.